Christmas may be coming, but it's possible the three wise men, Boris Johnson, David Davis and Liam Fox, could be chasing the wrong star after all. It seems that while they all agree with their leader that Brexit means Brexit, that's about all they can agree on. And they're in danger of losing their way to the promised land. In years to come, it might well be seen that last week's sensational by-election result in Richmond, when the Liberal Democrat candidate overturned a massive Tory majority, was a turning point in the battle over Brexit. Add that to the likely decision that the Supreme Court will say that only Parliament can trigger Article 50, and suddenly the Remainers have hope. I think a second referendum on the terms of our exit could even become a reality. And before you get hot under the collar, Nick, I'd like to quote another wise man. Before the referendum, Nigel Farage said, when he thought he was going to lose, in a 52-48 referendum, this would be unfinished business by a long way. Touche, Nigel. I agree with you entirely. Greg, I do like you, yeah. but I found it really boring how you're always going on about Brexit and trying to... It feels to me like you want to get it changed. Do you, well, that's you, the whole point. Would you like to see the referendum essentially being redone? No, I'd like to see a second referendum on the terms, because when we see the terms, I think you'll find most people won't vote for it. So are you happy, though, that the referendum that we had, it was majority in favour of Brexit? Do you accept that? I think, we, I think I'll accept that it was a 52-48 narrow victory. So you do, ac you do victory, accept yes. that it was in, yeah. in favour of Brexit. I just, I just struggle with all of this. So when we're talking about second referendums, obviously we had that vote yesterday where the MPs voted overwhelmingly in favour, actually, of the timetable that's been discussed. And I know what you're saying about people talking about terms, but how would a second referendum work? Explain it to me. Well, at some stage, we're going to have to know what Brexit actually means. And we don't know yet. We have no idea. And all sorts of people have got all sorts of different ideas, including uh, the people who supported Brexit. Now, when it comes down to seeing the reality, that's when we should say, OK, now, do we want to do it or don't we? So you would envisage a single question referendum? Which is what the Liberals stood on in Richmond last week and won overwhelmingly. And I suspect that once we see the terms, which will be probably 18 months away, once we see the terms, people will want to say, OK, we'll make the decision on that, not you. Can I, Michelle, ask, you, yeah. can I ask you a question, Michelle? You can. I thought it was really fascinating to hear David Davis talking about us potentially paying maybe billions for access to the single market. Mm. I mean, if that was on the table as a Brexit supporter, would you feel happy um, that that was what you voted for, that we've left the EU, but we still pay a huge amount to get access to the benefits we had as part of the EU? Or do you think that is something that people would want to be consulted on again? I think that there's such a, fas a fascination about the single market. There are many markets we can deal with and trade with. It's not just about the single market. I think that lots of people voted about controlled immigration. And I think if the criteria of being in a single market means uncontrolled immigration, I think a huge amount of people, myself included, would be uncomfortable with that. But that's part of the problem, isn't it? I mean, do we, know, we don't know whether people voted Brexit because of uncontrolled immigration, because it wasn't part of the question. It was just, do you want to leave the European Union? Now, everyone tells us it's because of immigration, but who knows? But if you're saying everyone tells you it's because of immigration, then... Well, when I say, when I say everyone, I mean the Brexiteers. I mean, you well, know, a go, small then. handful of people in Westminster who campaign for it. But that's not the same as asking the voters what they really wanted, what they can, meant Can I put Brexit. it quite simply, because I know that Nick's going to come back. Nick and Michelle, OK, why don't you see it like this? We're, we're married. Oh. I want to move it's house. It's just got worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I want got to move house. I want to move house. I want to leave my house and I want to buy another house. And you say, yes, darling, let's move house. OK. Would you let me buy the other house without looking at it? I don't really see it as an Yes, analogy. you do. <laughs> would you go... Would you move house without seeing the other house? OK, so what Greg what is saying that is... I want to we leave? want to have a look at right. the other house before we move into it. It's very simple. Right. I agree. Do I need to leave my house because, oh I don't know, God. it's got rising down <laughs> and <laughs> my husband's a pain Never mind bloody house. Right. Right, Nick, Greg Nick. Dyke. Yeah. <laughs> Out last night, were you, at one of your trendy parties? <laughs> no, oh, no, no. I wasn't. Not, not caught Sky News or listened to the radio, or perhaps you haven't seen the papers, yes, Greg, I so I maybe, maybe I can help you with some of the headlines. The day MPs no, spoke about that is Britain. rubbish headline right? in that paper. Hooray, MPs say yes to no, EU exit. They really said they didn't, really They said MPs yes to the MPs hand-made blank check. Where's the Guardian? Where's the Guardian? 
head. Yeah. Yeah. We do not run this show yeah. by, head, they, by Daily Mail there headlines. There are 11 people, even older than you, sat in a room at Whitehall at the moment, God knows why, deliberating on something that they'll finally tell us about in January. It's irrelevant. Even Lady Neuberger, the president of the court, said it would, and these are her words, it would look pretty odd, close quotes, to the electorate. If that decision, it was the odds of the will of Parliament. The decision has been taken. And as for Richmond Park, finally, please, Richmond Park is not Britain. You think there's going to be a research? Richmond Park is the most educated constituency in the whole of the country. More educational qualifications in Richmond Park than anywhere else in Britain. And also, other factors are in play. So, well, Richard, I can, I can take you. I so, educated people would not vote for Brexit. Well, what we you know just that said. if you look at it. Oh, yes, because, of course, people who aren't educated, they're No, so that is what you that just said. So you said that Richmond you. was the most Why? educated yeah, borough in so Britain and they all voted Remain. No, what, no, think no, of the implications no, no, of no, what you what said. No, because what I'm saying is it's, you can't, therefore, base the entire country on Richmond Park. But, you know, what? No. just because you haven't got an A-level doesn't mean you can't vote. But you look, That's the trouble with you. But you, you saw, don't the, get it. But you saw a similar sort of swing in Whitney. I mean, this is... I mean, when the reality comes and says that's the choice, and this will be 18 months away, and that's why this yesterday is just politics, doesn't matter. 18 months time, when you say there's the choice, you can either stay or you've got to have this, I suspect the alternative will not be palatable to, to a large chunks of Britain who don't mind who voted against... But they vo they voted to, they voted out. She's just been had. She's but, got the deal. Got she do, just do no, what she no, she's, no, she's got Again. the she's it's got the deal. Saying here is the process. Process isn't the reality. The reality is what deal can you get? And are you honestly saying? So suppose we don't like this. We're going to have referendums indefinitely. No, I think there will be. I think I I rather well, like the, the liberals' proposals that actually say we go through this whole no, negotiation. That's a, that's a shock, isn't it? We go through the whole. We, but, the, the whole negotiation, and there's the alternative. Now choose. Let's face it, Theresa May has completely screwed this up. There is a scenario in which she could have handled it in such a way that it was transparent. We knew what was you on the cards. We knew the timetable. I don't know if you do. She's you don't going play cards to end up like doing that, it like right? that. She's going no. to end up doing it that way, only for the, every level of the process. And it means, and don't forget, you know, when you say that Rachel's saying only the educated people voted, remain. No, it's, it's nonsense. Not true. It was 4852. Yeah, yeah. Rachel wasn't saying that either in her defence. But it, well, it, was, it, we, it was a divine vote and Theresa May could have handled this in a way that people felt that they had some insight into what was going on. You can't do something as radical for the future of the country Honestly, without keeping people informed. And if you, you don't, how that's going to happen is the same you, outcome just, only with Just let me one line. You re moaners are so dreary. You are so dreary. Well, I just don't understand well, how you can enter in, uh, into a negotiation if you've already well, come out in advance and said, this is basically what I'm going to settle oh. for and what I'm going to try and get. That's How is that a negotiation? You need to keep the cards close to your Let me just, to emphasise my point, let me just show what Mr Farage said at the time of the referendum. I tell you what's for certain, absolutely for certain, whoever wins this battle tonight, and just say we lost, m marginally, we're going to win this war. I don't know what this result's going to be. I pray we win, and if we win, then Britain becomes an independent country again, and the European Union itself is finished. If we lose, all that would have happened is that process would have been delayed a bit. Now, that's why I object to your idea about remoners, because it was perfectly valid for those in favour of Brexit to say, look, if we lose, and we lose narrowly, we're going to fight on. Yeah. That's all the, the people who are in favour of Brexit, I, I, uh, uh, who are against Brexit, are doing exactly the same as what, uh, what uh, Farage but, said. But it has... Nick, can I just ask you something? OK, let's, let's say the deal is something like... We're not we buying don't... a house again, are we? No, no, no. Because <laughs> I still haven't worked that out. <laughs> We're not moving together anyway after this. OK, we don't have proper control of our borders. We still pay billions in... Uh, we're not in the customs union. If it's whereas now we have, we're not in Schengen. We're not in these. You know, we've got we've got, no we, we've got basically win win we, apart from week, control over our borders. Of, uh, what if we don't get in. full control of our, our borders and we carry on paying and we're out of the customs union? Look, Is that something I'm, that you I'm, would want? I know this doesn't touch your world apart from getting cheap gardeners, but we cannot have t cities the size of Coventry arriving every year. We just haven't got. No, and I think there are have people a point. who cannot get their kids in schools. They cannot get treatment in A and E. They cannot get bloody jobs. I know. It, I know none of you realise that because none of you ever leave but your Nick, leafy environs of London. Following what Michelle's saying, actually. if you had, if if.
Theresa May handles this, like a boardroom negotiation behind closed doors, all of that is possible because we don't know what she's going to settle for. We don't know what she's going to agree. It's not what and she settles why, for. It's what the other 27 settle that, for. That, that, that is why this can't just be something we just leave up to the government to go and handle behind closed doors and accept whatever the outcome is. I don't think any of you would but, agree with that. So why are you backing that as but a But you two are both business people. You don't go into a business deal saying, you are. That's, no, that's what I'm going to pay you. There you there go. There was a piece on the television last night about about the number of American banks that are looking to move out of London, their headquarters out of London, their European headquarters, because of Brexit. Now, when that reality comes, when the reality comes that actually it's going to be very expensive for this country to right. the Brexit... Notting Hill so that People might choose their mind. <laughs> and all I'm saying is, I think there will become a... Say, I do genuinely believe we will have a second vote. And I think there's probably a majority in Parliament who will vote for a second vote. Mm. Even all right, now. well, um, there's the prospect of Notting Hill emptying. Yeah. So it must yeah. be time yeah. to talk about immigration. Yeah.